Hello, welcome to the video for what is string matches wildcard. I gone ahead and whipped up this quick little example. Let's go ahead and hit play. And what we're going to see is not found with a little unhappy face. So what is the matches wildcard and what would we use it for? If we go ahead and type in matches wildcard, we're going to find it under the string section. And this is what you're going to see by default. What you're going to find is two inputs for strings and then a search case of either case sensitive or ignore case. So for our example, I've put in two strings, a source and a what we want. And I've set it up to ignore case. So the source is just simply going to be a string that comes in that we want to search through. In our case, I've, our string is going to be this is Unreal Engine. 4.10.2 and what we want to do is the wild card basically is what we're searching for but you would also use the question mark and the asterisk to determine how you're searching for that string inside of your source string sounds a little weird but let me show you in our example so our source has, this is our, this is Unreal Engine 4.10.2 with proper formatting spaces and everything between our words. And what we want to search for is Unreal Space Engine. So you'd think if I hit search, it would find it. Because Unreal Engine is what we want and Unreal Engine is inside of our source. Well, that is not how the wildcard works. We actually have no wildcard characters inside of here. So it doesn't actually know how it should be looking for it. So your wildcard characters are your question mark and your asterisk. The question mark basically replaces a single space or single character with anything. So for example, if I did Unreal Engine question mark, basically that means it could be Unreal Engine and then a space or Unreal Engine and a number or a character or let anything in that area where the question mark is. If I put a asterisk, it'll be anything after those two words. Anything. It's not just an individual character. It's anything. So if we go ahead and run this again, we're going to find not found. Well, why is that? I told it to find Unreal Engine anything. Well, the problem is our sentence is this is Unreal Engine anything. So for example, we now put an asterisk in the beginning and we hit play. You're going to find winner because we told it to look for anything, Unreal Engine, anything. And our source string was anything, Unreal Engine, anything. So we had a match. So that's how that works. So in, for using our question marks, let's go ahead and let's say we want to make sure that for whatever reason, maybe this blueprint is only supposed to work on Unreal Engine 4.10. And if it doesn't, they try it in a newer version. We want to throw up just in a little, little alert. We want to say, hey, we haven't updated to 4.11 yet. So what we can do is we can do Unreal Engine. And then we could do, let's say, 4.10 dot star and of course this is going to fail because we have that in the middle of what we're looking for so we're going to have an issue there so if we do the asterisk 4.10 star and we hit play it's going to be a winner now if we change our source to 4.11 for example let's say the next version comes out for whatever reason we hit play now of course it's not found because it doesn't match now let's say we only want to key off of this number here, 4.11.2. Well, we can use our question mark. Let's go ahead and erase Unreal Engine. And let's say we only want to look for 4.11.2. Well, let's go with 4.11.anything. We'll look for any version of 4.11. We'll hit play. Of course, not found because it's not part of the actual source itself. We have this is Unreal Engine before that. We'd have to do an exclamation point, the, the asterisk, sorry. And we hit play, and we're going to find winner. Because for anything, 
one character matches our source of anything 4.11.2. But what if this was 22? What should happen? Well, it should fail, and it does, because 4.11.22 is different than 4.11.1 character. Remember, the question mark is one character. If we did question mark again, it's going to work because now it's looking for two characters. And the nice thing is you can actually have extra question marks in there. So if we did two more question marks and we hit play, we're going to find winner because this is going to be the end of our sentence and there is at least the two matching question marks. So a useful version of this is let's say you wanted to make sure something matches the same or the same formatting. It needs to be like maybe a number, character number or something like that. And our source was, you know, something like um, Baker for Charlie, something like that. And we wanted to make sure we had a four somewhere in the middle of our sentence. Well, you could do the zero, four, sorry, asterisk, four, asterisk, and it's going to find it because it finds a four surrounded by anything. So that is how our matches wildcard works. It's a good way of finding pieces inside of something else where you only have partial knowledge of what you're going to be searching for. You want, for example, let's say you're making a text adventure, like an old Zork game or something like that, and you want it to be text input. Maybe you want it where your player is told you're looking down a dark hallway and you see a lamp. And your keyword may be lamp, but you don't really know what they're going to do with the lamp. You just want to know they're going to do something with the lamp. Maybe you'll do asterisk, lamp, asterisk, and have the source be whatever they type in. And that way you can go ahead and see what they're going to do. So that is how we do our matches wildcard. Basically, you take your source and your wildcard, and it goes ahead and outputs a true or false if it matched based on your wildcard. Remember, your wildcard has to have an asterisk or a question mark to work, or else it's not a wildcard. You would have to use something like a contains node instead if you want something that's exact. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.